Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Blender. This time we will dive into geometry nodes and going to demonstrate how to create a simple glass cube animation with tiny emission elements. So stay till the end to see the final result. Let's get started. As you can see, actually we are using the Blender version of 3.4. We are going to general and delete our light and camera as we don't need them click our cube go to geometry nodes and add a new line as our first block we need to distribute some points on faces so by clicking shift plus a on the search menu type distribute points on faces So now as you can see we have already some points directing our faces of our cube but seeing they are not enough so by default it's 10 density let's increase the density around maybe 90 now that looks better as our second block, we are going to take instance on points. And as you can see, everything now has disappeared because actually Blender don't know what we want as an instance. So we are going to create a cube as instance so you can drag the green point here to left with left mouse button and then type cube as an instance to get rid of this result we just have to reduce the size of our cube something around like this 0.1 It looks fine and now add some scale instances block drag the scale properties to the left and search for float curve so it will help us to scale our instances in an interesting way by dragging a waveformed shape something like this and now drag the factor point to left at a matte node and for the first value pick a position be sure to check the clamp box and as you can see now we have something different as we move the value of the matte node actually we are animating the instances which looks pretty cool for now actually we can do this smoother by taking the value of the math node and put it on the scale properties of our instance on points block so now let's set a keyframes for our animation be sure that you are on the first frame which you can be seen here on the droid viewport and give it a value minus one press i to insert a keyframe and let's go to the frame 125 and change the value to 1.8 press i to add another keyframe and to keep this keyframe 1.8 until frame 140 like this press once again I and now by pressing the shift and the right arrow you can go to the last 
frame which is by default 250 and set the value back again to minus 1 and press for final time the I to set the final keyframe and now as you press the space button we are playing the animation which looks perfect for now now it's time to set some materials so pick our default cube let's take glass roughness on 0 0.1 now let's create some plane turn to render mode press to play the animation but there is nothing to see because actually we don't have a light instead of this we will make these instances as an emission material so let's add another material new emission let's set the strength to 5 points a light blue color and on the geometry nodes we can set material pick material 0 1 and just drag it between the cube node and the instance node and as we change on render mode now you can see our instances are glowing with the emission material also let's create a material for the plane click new and just increase the metallic value to maximum which is 1 now all we see right here is just our emissions but we also want to see our glass cube for which we did a glass material to make it visible we have to put here on the end a joint geometry node and drag the group input which are default glass cube to the joint geometry and now as we play the animation you can see the whole emissions inside our glass cube Here's the final composition which I used for this short and simple animation. I'm new in geometry nodes and if you have any advice I will be glad to know a better way. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.